guys, Monk here, and we're back with another episode of LSPDFR. And today we're going to be the Los Santos Police Department. I'm in the uh, Chevy Impala again, so we're just going to be doing traffic stops and, uh, you know, stuff like that again. I don't think I got my my stuff, so we're going to go ahead and grab uh, my medikit and vest or whatever. And uh, we're going to do this patrol, guys. Hope you enjoy. Alright, so we got a uh, petrol theft. We're gonna go ahead and respond to uh, code 2. We're gonna get over there as quickly as we can. Um, it appears it is reporting a low mesa, so we're gonna go ahead, pass these cars. We're gonna go ahead and get through this light. And get through this light. And uh, we're gonna, we're getting there as quick as possible. Probably not going to cut this drive out because I'm almost there already. So, just going to go around those cars. It appears it is um, right here by the ammunition. Yeah, this uh, gas station right here in front of the ammunition. So, we are going to go ahead and pull in here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and uh, pull up here and talk to the store owner. And, uh,. See what uh see what's going on here. Finally, what a relief! I just experienced a terrible situation. Some rude customer put petrol into his vehicle. After that, he simply drove off without paying. Luckily, I've caught the idiot on CCTV. Can you make out the vehicle's details? Um, all right, so we're gonna we're gonna watch the CCTV here. Uh, it does appear as a bison. There they are, bastard. All right, so it is a bison. Um, yeah. Okay, so I can make out the I can make out the vehicle's details from the CCTV footage. Um, I didn't get the color because it's black and white, but I do know that it is a bison. Or is that it? Uh, the vehicle was a weirdly colored bison too. The license plate was. Uh, 29 King William, I don't know what C means, and then 256. Uh, in which direction did they go? They made off in that direction, officer. So let's see which way he tells us they went. Um, Alright, so they went. Uh, I believe that's. Is that still southbound? I think it is. No, it's not. I don't think, actually. Yeah, it's eastbound on. Um, uh, popular street so we're gonna go ahead and look for the weirdly colored bison um, and we do have the full license plate I don't know how my guy was able to see that from the footage but considering we only seen the front of the vehicle so um, we have a traffic alert oh it has La Mesa. All right, so we got an AMPR hit on that bison so we're gonna go ahead and flip around here and we're going to go this way and search for it um, I'm guessing they went this way. We're gonna go ahead and flip on the lights here for just a second, just to get past. All right, so I'm assuming they came down this way. Um, uh, hopefully they didn't get on the. They get on the. Oh, they might have got on the highway. So yeah, we're gonna. We're gonna try to get on here, I guess. Uh, that's really the only place I could think they went. We have a traffic alert. So yeah, we're gonna have to get on the highway here. I'm gonna go ahead and flip off the lights just so we don't uh, uh, make them aware of our presence. I think I see it up ahead. Um, these both have, yeah, neither one of these are the car. We're gonna pass traffic here. Um, I'm gonna imagine they kept going this way. Um, hopefully, we'll get another AMPR update soon um, I may just cut to when I find them because okay so they're back this way I'm, I might cut back to when I find them just because it could be annoying a little bit watching all this I know uh, that car just did not want to get out of the way um, I don't see anything yet but they were they were on this road I believe we have oh, a traffic okay. alert in La Mesa. They went. Oh, we're gonna get up on the curb here. 
So it does look like they went down here, unless they're crossing the highway again. I think they probably went down this way, though. I would imagine. We have oh my gosh, they went across again. Yeah, I'm probably just going to cut this until I find them, guys, because this is a... Uh, yeah, this is taking a while, so I'll probably cut to when I do finally get up behind them. Oh, oh, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Dangerous, 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 dangerous. I did find the bison here finally. It took me a little while to finally track it down, but we do have it here. So we're going to run the plate, and then we will. Uh, oh, they're already they're already taking off on us here. Um, yeah, okay, that car is going to go. So the plate. There's nothing on the plate, but uh, I'm assuming they know what is happening here. So we're going to go ahead and just keep up behind it. Our car is really dirty. We're going really low rates of speed here. Just uh, going to stay up behind them here. And uh, try to... I don't really know what he's doing. I don't really know what he's doing. I wonder if I could just get in front of him here. Is he going to try to push me out of the way? Alright, get out of the car, out of the car, out of the car. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. All right, so that was uh, that was pretty simple. We uh, we just kind of pulled in front of him here. Man, hey, on the ground! What are you doing, dude? Excuse me? Oh my gosh, this car behind is is just hitting his car, which is hitting my car. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place him in cuffs here. Oh, what is happening? All right, let's go ahead and close off the roads real quick. Let's check his name, Mike Rogers. Attention, this is dispatch. We are code four. No further units required. All right, let's see what comes back on that. I spelt it wrong, didn't I? Man, I'm really good at spelling things wrong. Um, oh, there's no D in it. Okay. All right, so oops, Mike Rogers. Go ahead and nothing valid, no warrants. But um, we're gonna go and breathalyze him here, and then search him, and then search the car. And uh, he's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be, he's drinking a little bit. He's gonna be under the arrest for the uh, for the theft of fuel. So he had a machete on him, which is also illegal. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and place him in the back of the, the car here. The car is really dirty. Probably should take that to a car wash but um so we're gonna go ahead and complete a vehicle search and then we're gonna tow away the truck and um man don't, when you're on the job and uh, like when you're in a company vehicle doesn't the company pay for gas why was he stealing gas because i guess i guess if he also uses it as his own personal vehicle but still i don't yeah he's just yeah <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and finish the search here, if my guy can figure out what he wants to do with his life. Um, Alright, so nothing in the vehicle, but we have him on footage stealing, uh, stealing gas, and we did end up taking away the roadblock, so this, this is going great. So we're gonna go ahead. The transport is here. It is a crown. It is another Impala. So Blaine County Sheriff. Don't really know why she's out here, but and she's wearing a LSPD uniform. But yeah, whatever. We'll take it. All right. So that's gonna be the end of that call out. We're gonna be code four off of that, and uh, he's gonna be going to jail for the stealing the uh, the gas there. And uh, I'm probably just gonna you know go find a. Go find a car wash or something. Alright, so this uh this truck here is kinda swerving and he ran that stop right there, so we're gonna go ahead and pull him over here and uh that's actually not a bad I think I might just leave this, yeah, I think I'll just leave it, so that's not because it's not really that bad. So we're gonna go ahead here and we're gonna run the plate. <clears throat> My voice freaked out there for a second. We're gonna see what comes back on the plate in um in our system here. 
and then we will double check it with the uh, the LSPDFR Plus computer or computer plus whatever. All right, so nothing there. So we are gonna go ahead and check some additional stuff here. So the vehicles are Rancher XL. Owner is Charlie Bone. Registration valid. Insurance valid. Um, no active warrants. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and search his name and see if anything comes up on it. It has been stopped once. I don't know if it's counting this stop as the first time. No warrants. So yeah, all right. So everything does seem to be good there. He was uh, he was swerving a little bit, and he ran the stop uh, stop signs so, or stop thing. I don't know what you want to call it. So. We're gonna go ahead and see what is up. Alright, he's gonna take off on this. So, we're gonna be in pursuit of this Rancher XL. And, uh, we are going to be northbound on West Mirror Drive. Oh, this is gonna get dangerous. So, we are gonna stay up behind him here. Alright, we're gonna get in front of him here. All out of the car, out of the car, out of the car. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground, on the ground. This looks like the same exact guy we just arrested a second ago. But, you know, it seems it's legit. That is legit. Alright, Charlie, why you running, boy? Boy. Alright. Valid, no warrants. I'm gonna go ahead and step over here. We're gonna close off traffic. Um, and we are going to run a breathalyzer. He was he was over the all over the road a little bit, so we're going to see um, if this is why he ran. He is not under the influence of alcohol at all. So we're going to search him here. Nothing on him so far. We have no idea why he ran, but I guess we'll eventually figure out why. Um, probably after we search his uh, his truck there. So I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and step car. in the yeah. car there. Thank you. Then we're going to go ahead and search his uh, his truck here. And um, we're going to see if we can figure out why he ran. We're going to go ahead and search the back. Then we're going to search the passenger side, which my guy's probably going to freak out because there's a car right here. This guy's wearing a jumpsuit. He's just got off work or something. So we're going to search the air next to this guy's car. And nothing. So he ran for no reason whatsoever. Um, so that means the the uh, the only charge we're going to get on him is evading or looting. Um, uh, because he just fled from the traffic stop for absolutely no reason. So um, We are going to go ahead. We will remove the roadblocks and whatnot here. The rancher is gonna get picked up. Hello? The transport is here. It's gonna go ahead and grab him. It's the Los Santos Police Crown Vic there. It's pretty nice. Um, and we are code four off of that. Um, really he had no reason to run whatsoever. Cause um, I would have sorry, all I would have done is you know asked him if he'd been drinking and if he said you know no I probably would have ran the breathalyzer on him and um, that probably would have been it if why not once I checked the breathalyzer and seen that he hadn't been drinking that would have been the end of that but he uh, he wanted to run so he's gonna get evading eluding and uh, he's gonna go off to jail now so we're gonna be code four and we're gonna go on to the next uh, next call or stop. Okay, this this Rancher XL here, I just hit this civilian. Even if the civilian did not have the right of way, you are supposed to uh, yield for the pedestrian. So, oh, okay, and then he just hits that, so. That seems legit. So we're going to run the plate here. This is a really bad spot, but... <clears throat> We're gonna go ahead and see why he uh, hit that pedestrian. So, felony warrant. So we're gonna go ahead and double check here in our computer. We're gonna run the plate and see valid, valid. Suspect has an active warrant. So, um, 
Yeah, we can go ahead and we're just gonna double check her. Um, so her license is suspended, so she's not supposed to be driving anyways, and she has an active warrant, so. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and it is a felony warrant, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a felony stop here. We're gonna go ahead and get her out of the car here at gunpoint. On the ground, lady. Alright, so. Dirtbag. Alright. Oh gosh, get on the ground. Go ahead, make me use on the it. ground, on the ground. Fucking creep. Attention all units. All right, so uh, right now she's going for the hit and run, and then she's gonna go for her warrant, and then we're gonna see if there's anything else. Uh, we're gonna check her name here and triple check this warrant. She is wanted by the Los Santos Police Department, so. We are going to go ahead and breathalyze her here. See if that had anything to do with why she hit that person. Nope. Alright, so we're going to search her. Then we were going to search her truck here. And she's going to go off to jail. So, nothing else on her. So, right now it's the hit and run in her warrant. So, we're going to go ahead and put her in the back of the car. Get in the fucking car! And then we are going to search her truck here. Ow, I just slammed my hand on my desk. Alright, we're going to search the back here. Ooh. And then we're going to once again somehow search the passenger side. We're going to... What are we doing? What are we doing? Alright, we're going to search behind this car and make sure everything's fine here. Alright, so yeah, there's nothing else. Um, we're just going to, she's just going to go for the, once again, her warrant and then the hit and run. So, because um, she did not at all, like, step out and make sure that civilian was okay. So, getting to call the tow truck for a vehicle here and then, um, and then she's going to go off the jail. So, oh, that's going to, yep, yep, yep. Alright, they're asking what my status is. I forgot I changed that. There we go. Alright, so she's going to go to jail. Um, her car has been impounded. Alright guys, this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, comment, and if you really did, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Dispatch calling unit 1, Lincoln 18. We have a traffic alert.